morning folks and welcome to this oh, maybe first of a few uh, quick advanced demonstration rides so what have we got we've got a set we've got a bend to the left we've got a height restriction that's fine uh, there's nothing uncommon We're just holding the crown of the road no problem there you see a bend off to the left and maintaining two second gap between myself and the car in front Looking across the bay, you can quite happily see the you know, park, park postal van might move off at any time. Park car on the right hand side, so easing off. And well, I'm going to give this car space because there's no need and loads of room around the back. Again, holding position behind the, the Astra. Good view, oncoming car, it's parked car, so I'm going to give that space. There's no, there's no need to argue. The car will hurt me more than I'll hurt it. Junction on the left, doesn't seem to be, no, no issues there. So I'm going to drift to the near side, give a look. As far, as extending the view as far as possible. We get a minute 30, so I'm doing somewhere near 30 <laughs> within a mile or two cruise control on so hands relax no problem hand might not be on the lever but my back brake is is largely covered by my right foot no 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 immediate danger no issues looking towards right in the distance the end of the national um, speed limit side back into a national at 60 I see runners potentially on the road, some on the path. So cars in front might try and negotiate those uh, fairly, fairly badly. So coming to the end of the 30. Shoulder checks all around. All good, mirror checks all good and off we go. No hanging around up to 60 where possible. Get it done. Go up to speed. There's no. It's dry today. There's no. There's no need to be doing 40 and a 60. I can see. I think I can see the indicator on the car ahead. No, was that oh, sunlight? Sunlight bouncing off trees. But there's a car park up here, and they could have been turning right. So there was no. Uh, no real need to go too mad, and there is, in fact, an overtake on. Oh. Nothing common, nothing common, nothing common. Can hold out and back in. unfortunate. No view around the van, so well I can see through it but no view around so I'm going to sit here and there's a view of the left, two cyclists ahead, bus on coming so gear down, match the speed and I'm anticipating that the car ahead is going to slow down. That's a learner. Two decent riders, I don't need to move to the other lane here. Safe as a row of houses in the same lane. There's no speed involved, there's no issue with the cyclist. And if that was me cycling, I'd, I'd be happy with that pass. I wouldn't, that wouldn't be a problem to me. I know, shock, shock horror, uh, <laughs> an advanced motorcycle rider is also a cyclist. Who'd have thought? Don't really even need here. Don't really need even position review because there's no need. I mean, the, the signs there. There's a left. There's a left-hand bend coming up. And this is local knowledge here. It's not a short bend whatsoever. But there's a, I'm also coming into a 30, 
So we're going to stick the cruise control on, let the bike do the work. There's no, there's no immediate danger, no immediate panic. Might as well you know, give give the right hand a break. But being an open, such an open road, I, I can see, you know, I can see the shop in the distance. I can see people on the beach. Such a wide open area. My my main focus here is uh, vehicles leaving driveways on the left hand side. And there hasn't been any. I haven't seen any signs of anyone um, trying to leave the house. So I'm not I'm not taking extreme positions. I'm just Netflix and chill behind this van. Again, not too much activity in the car park. So I don't really need to indicate because there's no one there to give information to. And straight out, off we go. Still, still on the 30, but parked car on the left hand side, so quick mirror check, move out. Again, I'm, I'm on this road on my own currently, so there's no one, no one to give information to. Junction clear, was, I, you know, there's no issue. Junction again, junction clear, junction clear. So I can position for this view of the right hand bend. Again, nothing there. This is it's easy this morning. There's no uh, there's no great panic. Again, looking forward, right hand bend, and there's a sign. Jumps it to the left. Not a problem. Again, it's not a busy road. So I'm going to position left. Do the all the checks. End of the, end of the national. Mirror checks and go. The advanced the, the advanced way of riding is looking forward and planning ahead, and that really sums up everything you do. Um, get the checks done early when you're leaving the 30, leaving the 40, even the 50 into a national, even any speed limit. Get the checks done early, and then as soon as you hit that, you know, as soon as you cross that line, that barrier, that invisible border. Get on the gas and go. There's very little else on the road will compete with the motorbike. So use that. That's your advantage. Use the engine. Use the power. Get up there and get home. Again, looking ahead, two cyclists being approached by a car, so I'm going to hang back because the cyclists will turn left up quite quite an annoying hill to climb. It's quite slow on a bike. So oh, car turning left. I have nothing on coming. That was, that was handy enough. I didn't even need to change lane there. So, quick, quick check over the shoulders, quick mirror check. Into the left for the junction to turn left, but get it done already, get the speed down, there's no panic, no problem. Cyclists are going to help me here, because at that point there's nothing really oncoming, but I need to stop anyway. Quick check, there we go. Oncoming runner, so I'm going to give her space. And then, I can see, perfectly clear up the road. Two cyclists are double left. No, no problem. Quick mirror check back in. No problem whatsoever. Uh, looking forward again. Something blowing around in the breeze up here on the left hand bend. Slow markers on the road. This kind of says, get the speed down. If you can't see, black chevrons, so it's quite a dangerous corner. I'm going to sit out, sit out, sit out and look. Nothing going common. Apart from this van, so I'm going to move, give it space. Into the left, there's a there's a blind crest. So I'm gonna sit left, the ticket. Yeah, there we go, there's the view, there's the information, off we go. Again, position to the left, constant you know, checking mirrors all the time, there's a view, there's a view, there's a there's a right hand bend, there's a junction on the left, keep an eye on that. Looking forward. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Go. Right, this corner is quite a bad one because it's off camber. If you take it too deep, like here, you run the risk of pulling yourself in, and it, it would be very difficult to get out of. So I'm holding center lane a little bit. See this camber here on the left? 
that's horrible it doesn't it won't look as pronounced on camera but it's horrible so jumps into the left jumps into the right everything's clear I've had a, I've had a good look already done I can position position to the white line there's nothing on common perfect It's quite a good one too, it's open, but it's it, it's tight here at the bridge, but it's an open corner, so I'm going to throw it in, pick it up, there's the view again, done. And the other ship, this is quite a sharp deviation, so is that done, nothing, junction, road clear, mirror check back out to the view. silver car came from that, that gives you the idea of what kind of corner you're entering in theory sometimes it, it's not a it's not a definitive rule but. now it jumps into the left it's clear follow the road to the right it's also clear if it wasn't clear I wouldn't I wouldn't cut so close to the white down. Patient driver waited. There's oh look, there's a bendies. Bendies. Now it's quite a quite a tight one this. So it can it can catch you out coming from the other way if you're not really paying attention. A good view. Road goes straight with the jumps into the right. Not a not a problem. Because we'll just position for it. There's nothing there, nothing there. There's the there's the bend. Got them. Always positioning for the view. And if you can't see, get the speed down, get the gear down. Uh, and it's fairly the advanced advanced ride's fairly simple. You just speed now, right hand bend. This is quite a bad bend. Notice all the, the coloured crap on the road. Well, that's because this house on the left has been driven into quite a few times on icy days. Again, listening for view, you can see the road, follow the white lines. I'm looking at things like telegraph poles, tree tree lines. Where where do they go? Quick mirror checking around this car. No no panic. Tractor up ahead. So where's that going to go? There's a T junction at the bottom of this road. So so down behind the tractor. There's no no great panic. Let the tractor do its thing first. I'm going straight, so I'm going to sit in the middle of the lane. Tractor's going straight too. Still in first gear, so no worries. This is a creepy kind of corner, so Take a take a uh, take a following position behind the tractor. There is a couple of farms up on this road, so it might it might go into any one of them with no indication, or it might go into that wee day by. No, see he, he dulled me in there. But I'm glad I didn't take the chance because of that oncoming car it would have uh, it would have been a little bit too much of a 
<laughs> discomfort in terms of danger and safety. Forever known as the safety bubble. Always maintain a bubble of safety around yourself. And there's no there's no great pressure here. I can I can see I can see far enough around the tractor that I could overtake. But I'm mindful that approaching vehicles on this road will be doing 60 easy. And that, that gap, even on a motorbike, would, would close up fairly quick. So I would rather arrive alive than arrive dead. It's not it's not worth the risk. But I'll still I'll still position to the white line. Because I I know where the road goes. I'm I'm a local, it's my road. Essentially, I I I know where the road goes. There's a view, there's a view, there's a view, there's a cyclist. See, if I was in the car and making that overtake, that cyclist is in a lot of danger. And shock horror, as mentioned earlier in the video, being a cyclist myself, I'm not going to make that overtake. There's no way. Because I wouldn't like it to be done on me. It's, n it's not a nice feeling. Again, always looking forward, junction on the left, junction on the left, road goes to the right, Cluster, there's a cluster of street lights about, uh, ahead which generally will signify a junction or a roundabout. And that's precisely what it was, it was a junction that the street lights help you. If you're looking forward enough to see that information, then it, it's, the, it's there in front of your eyes. Use it, use it, build a bigger picture of what you're doing and where you're going. Again, here's another little bend. It's a little bend, but it's a short one. So I haven't accelerated up. I know where this bend goes. I know what it does. There's the view. Go. You know, notice the slow sign on the opposite side. That there's a reason for that. It's a sharp, you know, it's a sharp deviation. Again, no view here, no view here, no view here. There's the view. There's where the road goes. I haven't done anything daft. Now this is a bad corner too. You see this short deviation? Oh. Now being on being this is a rural road, it, it's perfectly acceptable to find tractors or indeed gravel, muck and whatever else on the road. So I'm I'm positioned to the left, safely to the left. Still looking ahead, there's right hand bend, right hand bend, right hand bend. No danger whatsoever. I can see ahead even again, further again, there's more muck in the middle of the road. So I'm going to position to the left, keep clear of it, and I'm perfectly positioned for the view over the right hand bend. There. Looking forward, looking forward. Jumps into the left, but I know this road goes to the right. After these little, after these little humps, so junction's clear. Have a good look. Junction's clear. Position again to the near side. Follow it, follow it, follow it. There's your view. Go. There's your view opened up for the right. And this is quite a bad. There's no signs here, but it's a bad deviation to the left. And you can't, when you can't see, the speed comes down. The speed comes down. No problem. There's a right hand bend. Straightens up. Look at where the van came from. The, the van and the direction the cars take coming towards you can often tell you what what the road you're riding onto can be like, how sharp it is, if it deviates, if there's a if it's hilly, if it rolls. Now there's a car ahead with brake lights on. So that could mean tractors, cyclists, runners, dog walkers, could mean anything. I mean they don't know where they're going as well, and they are, they're turning left. So they're out of the way. Back up, back up, jumps into the right, all clear. Jumps into the left, all clear. So I'm going to move to the centre here. 